my channel if this is your first time here welcome to my channel my name is Ismelda so today's video as you can see by the title is just me um, changing my trays to tray number five actually I'm worried I was wearing number four but I just had dinner and so obviously I took it out and like I said in my past videos that the best advice that I was given by my best friend is to change your trays at night before you go to bed so you could kind of just sleep with them and get used to it instead of changing it in the morning because then you have to take it off for breakfast lunch and dinner so she just said listen you're better off eating dinner than changing your trays so that's what I'm doing or that's what I did I ate dinner I have to brush my teeth and after I brush my teeth I am going to switch from number four to number five but quick 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 news so I went to the dentist today because he kind of wanted to see how things are going and if he sees any improvement or whatever and he basically told me not asked me well he did ask me like how many hours a day do I wear them and I told him honestly I wear them for at least 22 to 23 hours a day because I eat really quickly like I eat really 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 fast and so once I eat and once I'm done eating, I brush my teeth and I pop them right back in my mouth. So he told me that instead of changing my trays every 10 to 14 days, I can start changing them every seven days, which is really, really, really exciting because of the fact that I'll be done with my Invisalign way before I expected to be done. I thought I was going to be done in September or like mid-September and I'm not. He basically told me that I can change them every seven days. So if you calculate that, that's going to definitely advance my my experience or whatever. So this shall be interesting. You're probably going to have to see more videos more often or I'll probably just compilate some trays together because of the fact that it's going to be really repetitive. And I don't want you guys to be bored and like listening to the same thing over and over and over and over again. So right now, um, I'm going to brush my teeth off camera, of course. Um, you guys don't need to see that again. Because I'm gonna tell you. And after that, then I'll just kind of insert my new drink. And quick update. Um, first of all, I'm breaking out. But I my gap is actually getting bigger, which is a good thing because it means that my mouth is expanding and that it's making room for my tubes to come down and it's really exciting I'm so happy that this is actually working because I had like a crazy insecurity with my with my tooth and now that I'm able to fix that ugh, it's exciting so again let me, let me do that for those of you wondering um, if you're wondering what kind of toothbrush I use, I use this Oral-B electrical toothbrush. I'm an idiot. Why would I do that? I just wet it because, you know, I like to wet my toothbrush before I brush my teeth. Um, yeah. Electrical toothbrush. And the toothbrush that I, or the toothpaste that I use is this Colgate Total Whitening toothpaste and that's the one that I usually use in the morning and at night before I go to bed because I actually do use Sensodyne but when I use Sensodyne I use it while I'm at work that's the one that I have in my purse and when you read the back of the Sensodyne it says not to brush your teeth more than three times a day with Sensodyne so when I'm home I actually just use regular Colgate and then when I'm out and about then I'll just use the Sensodyne so um do i feel like sensodyne is working and making my teeth less sensitive i'm not sure to be honest with you because my teeth are always sensitive i don't know since i do brush my teeth all the time with sensodyne i don't know i can't tell if it's making a difference all i know is that my teeth are still sensitive and it's fine but i don't know if it would be even more sensitive if i wasn't using sensodyne so I can't I can't answer that question so let me brush my teeth and I'll get back to you so what I'm gonna do with these tray number four I'm gonna do what I do with all my other trays which is basically use the the cleaning crystals it's like salt I've said it before and so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna wash these and then I'm gonna put them back in the bag which is tray number four and yeah 
so I'll do that off camera and I'll do that after I finish filming this video because I don't want this video to be too long but this is trade number five so I'm gonna open it I'm so excited like I, I every single video I say I'm so excited because I am guys you know how good it feels to know that you're about to have a nice smile like it feels great so I need my mirror like I always do just put it in your mouth align it with your two front teeth and push it down so yeah and aligned okay What I did notice with these trays is that they do have a few pressure points. So with tray number four, actually, it had one pressure point. It had my attachment and it had another one that was a pressure point. And that one, it actually hurt my tooth. Like wherever that pressure point was, it hurt my tooth um, the, the following morning. So yeah, with this one, I have, let me see. This is for my attachment. Okay, so one tooth has two pressure points and the other one has one. And then my attachment is on this side. Actually, I had two attachments, right? I don't even know what's going on with my mouth. I know that I have, I think I have two attachments, but one of the tooth has a pressure point. Two of the two, because the one that has the attachment also has a pressure point. And now I'm gonna insert tray number five on my upper mouth. And this one, this one is just my attachments that I, that I know of, I don't know. Okay, honestly, I've come a couple, I cannot talk. This is super tight. Huh. So honestly, I've come accustomed to the pressure and I kind of like it now. It's not that bad. Hmm. Interesting. So there you go. Trade number five. And I'll see you for an update maybe tomorrow or the day after that. Who knows? Tomorrow's Friday, which yay. Sun to the teeth during the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video or the next clip. Bye. All right, so this is going to be the final update for tray number five. I'm gonna actually switch tonight to tray number six, which I'm gonna try to film as soon as I get home. So um, there's not much of an update except for I've been really, really, really bad this time around, especially because I am on vacation. Um, so I've been like drinking uh, with them on which is kind of disgusting because when you take them off you you see it you see it so um i'm gonna try to be good with the new tray even though i'm here for the rest of the week which is gonna be what seven six days fun and yeah so vacationing with invisalign i will give you an update after my vacation because right now i'm trying to um not talk about that because everyone's watching me as i film this so update my teeth are definitely sh shifting i see an improvement and it's only been tray number five so i'm really looking forward to uh, tray 26 which would be my last one so that is the update for tray number five and i'll see you in my next video